Welcome back to Let's Play Narnia, The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. This is part 8 and this part we're doing the level Frozen Lake. Now, Aslan's camp is near the stone table, just across the frozen river. It's so far. It's the world, dear. Did you expect it to be small? Smaller. So this is the level of Frozen Lake. What we're doing right now is that we're going to make a way to the stone table, which is where Aslan is right now. So we're going to make our way there, which is really cool as well. So, Frozen Lake, it's, yeah, we're on uh, the Frozen Lake, which is a Frozen Lake. Um, the way to the stone table is going to take up two episodes, but in the second episode, you arrive at the stone table so it's a bit it's a little bit long way but we're going to make it it's going to be okay so I'm just going to show you the wolf tame like this and you can pretty much just hurt people enemies I mean you can also do this and also hurt the wood which is also very nice but it's very good habit you can get the tame for many other um, creatures and enemies as well but we've only got it for the wolf at this moment we'll get more for them later though but kill these dwarves as I'm doing right now and then you can be Peter again and or Susan and get through the wood and we can continue on on the frozen lake oh no So these enemies are attacking us, so I I did a little research on what their names are and I think they're called Buggles or something. Now you can see these flying creatures in the air, they look like vampires, I think they're so cool, they are evil but I think they're so 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 cool. What they remember me of, um, remind me of is, you know that um, you know that actor that plays Sherlock Holmes? He plays in this movie where he is a where he is a werewolf and there is Dracula in it as well. And Dracula has these two female vampires and they always when I see these fine creatures they always remind me of those two girls. They look really similar as well. I think they look so 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 cool. Just really really cool as well. I just really like how they look I guess. I'm into that sort of stuff. I guess. Now these trolls are really stupid. So we're just going to shoot the arrows at these stones or rocks so they will fall down on the ogres and kill them. And we're also going to do it over here on these rocks so it will fall over there. And yeah, with those enemies, I don't know what they call it. Uh, those with the axes that look really stupid with the weird noses. Um, yeah, we're going to block it for them as well. They look really scary as well. But heal the others with Lucy. Like so. They're not new enemies, those ones the axes. Didn't we meet them in throughout the tunnel, which was the previous level? I think so. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I'm really sure that it was in that level. Yes, I am. 
Uh, yeah, anyways, we're going to go over here. We're going to try to destroy this bird so we can get her closet. But, someone shot a fire with... No, fire with an arrow. Arrow with fire. So we're going to be Susan, and we're going to shoot snowballs at the fire so we can get it away. Like so, and then we can try to destroy it again. And then a troll comes out of the ice. The troll that fell into the ice comes out again. Which I think is really cool. It's not really scary, but it's kind of creepy and freaky. I think it looks really cool though. What's really cool? Uh, now, you can't really kill this troll. But later on in the game, you will meet other trolls. Or the same kind of trolls, but with armor. And you can kill them then. You actually can, but... Yeah, you can kill it then, but you can't kill it now. So what I like to do here is just, I'm just going to try and lure the troll away from the fire. So that when the troll is away from the fire, Susan will have Susan will have the time to swoop over to the fire and try to get it away, as I'm trying to do right now. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't, but there it worked. So let's use Peter to get through here because he's the fastest. So the children think that uh, the white witch is coming after them, or Jade is, but uh, they're wrong at that um, thing. We're going to see at the end of this level who's actually following them though. You can see on the timer there's a question mark that's going to indicate that they don't really know, or we don't know just yet who's following them. So now what you're going to do. Uh, you have the timer, so you have to get to the end of the frozen lake before it go, before the timer runs out. So you have to kill these buggles, I think they're called. Yeah, you have to kill them for a certain amount of time until they stop coming out of the water. By the way, I think it looks really cool when they come out of the water. I just always think that looks really cool for some reason. And then you will see a snowflake appears that. Mr. And Mrs. Beaver is placing so that you can get across. So now you have to find a safe path across the ice with Lucy, which we've done before. Like so, and then we're over here. This is the second place. It's only two places. When we get to the third one, that is like the edge of the lakes. Then that is the last place we're going to be, kind of. Now you pretty much have to do the same thing. So today, the 17th of May, was the national day of Norway. Norway is where I live. And um, yeah, I I go in 10th grade at children's school, I think you, I guess you can call it. But it was really fun uh, this day. It's not over yet, but it's been fun this long. So I'm in the 10th grade at children's school. I guess you can say, and the 10th graders have to carry this flag, right? Uh, the flag. So we're only two people in the 10th grade because I live in a village, I don't live in a city. So there's only me and this other guy in 10th grade. So I was going to carry it first and it, it was so strong wind, I nearly, I nearly let go of it, nearly fell, like blew out of my hands nearly, and that would have been really, really embarrassing if it really did fly out of my hands because it would have fallen down on the orchestra. But uh, this other guy that carried the flag, he was carrying it up the hills to the church because we we're going to church to sing, and it was even stronger wind there, so even though he's really strong and stuff he nearly he nearly it nearly flew out of his hands as well and i was actually supposed to carry it up the hills but i switched with him which turns out to be really smart that i did so because if i carried it up i would have 
a bit of flu on my hands because everybody that knows me knows that I'm not strong at all. To say the least, I'm not strong at all. If you knew me, you'd know that I'm not strong at all. I'm really, really weak. So I'm just thinking about that. That would have been really embarrassing. But yeah, uh, this is the last place. We got this new enemy, this brown pig thing. I think it's called Go Ghoul or something. I think that's his name. I'm not really sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, yeah. Uh, right now we only have to kill all the enemies that are out until we can move on to the cutscene. So, yeah, try to kill all of the enemies that are outside here and we'll go on to the cutscene after I kill this last buggle. You've all been good, because there's someone here to see ya! <laughs> Merry Christmas, sir. It certainly is, Lucy. Since you have arrived. Presents! Juice of the fire flower. One drop will cure any injury. Susan. Blow on this, and wherever you are, Help will come. Thanks. Peter. The time to use these may be near at hand. These are tools. Not toys. Bear them well and wisely. Long live Aslan! And Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Thank you, love. So the children, Peter, Susan, and Lucy just met Father Christmas, so even Narnia has a Santa Claus, which is really, really nice. So that is the level complete. Uh, how many coins have we got? 366. That is quite nice, so we can buy some stuff. To see what rating we get. Hope it's excellent. Let's hope it is. I think it is though. Just look at the things I got. Yeah, excellent. So we'll buy a few stuff. Yeah, you got we received the gifts from Father Christmas and stuff. Bow and sword. And yeah, we buy Phoenix Heart for all the children because that gives more health and some other stuff. So I'll see you in the next part for part nine when we will do another level of this game. See you then.